What's going on, everybody? It's Mr. Everything, and I'm at it again. You feel me? So, uh, before we even get started, hit that like button, you know what I mean? Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and if you have, thank you very kindly. Also, I'd like to say thank you for everybody that's been subscribing to the channel, you know what I'm saying? I see y'all every time y'all hit that subscribe button. So, if you're coming through, make sure you hit it. It ain't gonna cost you nothing. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Can't say that enough, you know what I mean? And uh, rain, sleet, hail, snow, or shine, nothing and no one stops the grind, you feel me? So, uh, just put out that album, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, y'all liked it. Everybody who viewed it, I'd like to thank y'all. Also, everybody who did hit the like button, I thank y'all for that as well. That, you know what I'm saying, feedback is necessary, you dig? Uh, got more music coming out. A uh, little bit later, you know what I'm saying, this year, it's almost done, you know, but uh, we're going to keep it pushing around here. So today we're going to get it started. Uh, we're going to do some wires, you know what I'm saying, spark plug wires, uh, as I say, the dumb way, you dig? You know what I'm saying, this ain't no technical, super technical, going all scientific and everything. We finna do this the dumb way. So for everybody who don't know how to change the spark plug wires, if you got an old school, you got the wires. If you got a newer vehicle, you ain't got the wires no more. You got the little coil over the plug, basically. So, I mean, that helps. That that comes in handy. But for y'all who went to y'all old schools, we're going to show you how to do it on the old school. So, we about to get started, you feel me? All right. So, we're going to look at the engine here. Look at that. Wires, you know what I'm saying? Dirty. Been on here since I had it. I don't know how long they've been on here, but they've been on here for quite some time. So what we do, we got a nice set of brand new wires right here. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing super hard about it. Uh, typically, see here you go right here. You got your distributor cap with all your wires and everything going to it. And that goes to each cylinder, you know what I'm saying, over the top of that spark plug. So we finna get into it. The way I do it is start off with the small wire. You can't mess this up. Some people do mess it up, but you can't mess this up. You got the smallest wire that goes from right here to the coil for this uh, coil here, all the way to the distributor cap. So you start off with that one, and then you just look at the length of them and do them as you go. So we about to come back and show y'all as we got everything going. Be back in a minute. So I do want to show y'all one thing. Uh, when you're putting on your uh, spark plug wires, you got this boot. This goes to the distributor. And, well, actually, these will be the same here. So either way you do it, it's the same. It only changes when it actually goes over the plug. This part here, this boot actually right here goes over the plug, the long boot. That goes over the plug. And whenever you see that 90 degree angle boot, that always goes over. The distributor cap itself but you do always want to have you know what I'm saying so spark plug boot protector you know what I'm saying and uh, in other words that's the lube you understand you got to have some lube when you're putting the wires on because automatically you know what I'm saying over time too much friction and everything like that can burn some stuff up uh, if you don't have it it ain't really gonna do nothing to your motor but I mean when you go to take the plug wires off it might be a little bit hard, so uh, you typically do want to have some spark plug, wire, uh, pliers. We ain't doing all of that today, you know what I'm saying? All we doing is changing the plug wires. So we're taking off one. Just had to let y'all know, you know what I'm saying, about that. That's that's crucial to have some of that. Another thing you want to do, uh, we got the first wire on right there. If you check it out, black wire, got that on. Put some lube on there. The next thing you always want to remember, you know what I'm saying, the dumb way like this this is the next actual longest wire this wire right here is the longest wire so you would know that this wire would go from here to the longest destination which is up there uh to the top of the distributor cap you want to take the longest wire that's stretching the longest spot and you actually want to use that one first because typically you have it shorter here and shorter there so you don't want to 
put the wrong wires in the wrong spot because when you get done, if something doesn't reach or something's tight, you don't want it looking like that. You just want to do it the right way. So trust me, we going along, moving on with the damn way. Oh boy, I'm telling you, it's coated in the hook. It's hot out here. Now what you also do want to do is when you're pressing, I'll just show you this one as a reference point. When you are um, putting these on, you want to hear a little, little, it's not going to make a loud snap, but you want to hear feel a little click when you push it down that's how you know you got it down enough if you don't you might want to feel for that because it'll have a misfire it won't run right once you get it together so uh you got that one you got the one uh right here going down there and we're gonna move on down the line to finish this side up all right now if you look real close we got this side done you know what i'm saying moving right along got gotcha. your one that goes from your coil to the distributor right there. Got all three down here. We'll pull them out so you can see them. One going right in here. It's kind of hard to see, but one there, one there. Now we're going to proceed to the other side, you know. Got wires there where as you get to going, you know what I'm saying, start putting your wires so you won't have nothing extra. We got the four done so far. Now we're going to move on to the other side. Now this here is where it gets a little tricky. It's tricky. You know what I'm saying? I got thick fingers. You understand? Still got to get over here. So about to start them now. And you want to go ahead and do them. What I was telling you before, this actually is the longest one. So the longest one always goes the furthest away, which is here on up. You always want to pick out the longest ones and those have the furthest travel. So you do not want to get those mixed up. Take the longest, once again, the longest spark plug wire is going to go the furthest distance up to the distributor cap. All right, everybody, we back. Project Lowrider, the dumb way. And uh, we got a little bit of a surprise for y'all now. Bam, there it is, the finished product. You know what I'm saying? We got all of the wires in. You want to clean it up. Got these little, uh, we'll use these too because these are on here already. These are little spacers. You basically take each wire and put it on each side of the spacer. That kind of keeps them tucked a little clean. If you look here, running all the way down. All three wires in here. Checked everything, make sure we snug there. There, it's all in there nice and snug. Come around to the other side. You know what I mean? And. Everything's up there on the cap, all new black wires, all black everything, you know what I mean? Now, it gets real tricky on this side for anybody who has a 2.8. It's going to be real tricky on this side, you know what I'm saying? Because it got some big fingers, you understand? Oh, well, here we go. All right, so there's the old wires. Real tacky looking, super tacky, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Coming old like toe fungus mode, you dig? That one there even had uh, some tape on it. I didn't do that, that was already on there, but if you see some tape on your wires, that'll let you know also that it's time to replace those wires. So these were beat up, you know what I'm saying? Another thing, you always wanna remember, uh, it's like firing order, all that type of stuff. You can learn that on your own time. We ain't getting super technical. So I'm not finna be like, this one's number one, and this one's number two. No, this is the dumb way, you understand? So we're doing everything the simple way. And that's how I do it. I take off one wire at a time until I'm done. I ain't taking off all the wires and that ain't pretty. I've even seen some half decent mechanics, you know, them old musty dudes that you pick up at their house, smell like pee and being gay and everything else and hop in your car and smell for about five or six days like butt and being gay <laughs> you know what I'm saying uh, I didn't dealt with some of them mechanics they call them shade tree depending on where you're at and uh, them type of dudes take all your wires off and they be like I know how I go I know it go just like this and then as soon as you start up your car boom you know what I'm saying so we about to do the moment of truth real quick cause I got to get to my other gig you feel me cause I ain't rich you know what I mean? So we finna start this thing up. Moment of truth. Let me see. Nope. Yeah, God. Hold on. Hold on. I'll be right back. Got to get some keys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. We finna start this bad boy up. Now, if you hear anything blowing up a grenade, 
Was it because of the spark plug wires? Might be because of just uh, natural causes. Right, hold on a second. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she started right up. Okay. Ain't started her in a minute, so you know. Hold on, here we go. Here it is. Woo! <laughs> Gotta go, dog. Oh yeah. She running. She doing her thing. Really cold, but we gonna get her. Definitely feels a lot better than the throttle response. Definitely, man, that's crazy. It's really responsive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm pretty happy. And them spark plug wise only cost about $15, you understand? Plus the little lube, they're like $2, you know. So I'm pretty happy with it. Just gotta let it warm up. Once it warm up, it runs straight. But it's cold. If you got any projects and they actually running while you're working on them, stuff like that, after you get them all tuned up, make sure you start them up a few times a week. You don't want them just uh, out here left to pasture, you know what I'm saying? I gotta do a better job of starting mine up. Right, let's see. You know what I mean? So, hey. We got it all together, and we got it together on a budget. $15 for them wires. I ain't finna get into all them new, uh, you know, all them little auto parts stores and all that. And the reason why I ain't gonna do that, you wanna know why I ain't gonna do it? Cause this was sponsored by me, god dang it. I ain't got nobody sponsoring me, so I ain't shouting out no auto parts stores. You ain't gonna catch me up in there going, oh, we're going in here today. When they sponsor me and cut me a check, then you'll see me going up in the auto parts store. But y'all know the auto parts store. And if you don't, if you don't know no auto parts stores in your area, then uh, you might not want to even be near a car. You understand? So, till next time, we also got parts for the Trans Am, a couple parts. So, we'll be working on that next time. So, uh, rain, sleet, hail, snow, shine, nothing. And no one stops the grind. So, uh, till next time, y'all. Later, we out.